So question number 71, a technique of micropropagation is. Now micropropagation involves formation of small size plants, that is plantlets through tissue culture. Now this can be done through somatic embryogenesis. Yes, this somatic embryogenesis. So what we do in this somatic embryogenesis, if we put high amount of auxin, in the callus, there would be the formation of embryos directly. High concentration of the auxin in the callus will lead to the formation of embryo. Now, these embryos then can result in the formation of a plantlet, thus leading to micropropagation. So, this technique of formation of embryo without the fertilization, without the fusion, you call it as somatic embryogenesis. Now, we can look into the rest of the option. Protoplast fusion is done to form the protoplast fusion is done to form hybrid protoplast then this hybrid protoplast can be used for the formation of complete plant through tissue culture. So this hybrid which is formed through the tissue culture, you call it as somatic hybrid and this technique is known as somatic hybridization. Now coming to the first option, while forming the sexual hybrids, what happens generally in the seed, when we make sexual hybrids, generally in the seed endosperm degenerates. So under such condition, the survival of embryo is difficult. So what we do, we save the embryo. Yes, we remove the embryo from the seed and we save it, we will form new plant from the embryo through tissue culture and this saving of embryo through tissue culture of hybrid, you call it as embryo rescue technique. Now question number 72, a somatic cell that has just completed a phase of its cell cycle as compared to a gamete will have what number of the chromosome and the DNA content that we have to see. If the cell is forming gamete, it means that somatic cell is diploid. So somatic cell is diploid. It is diploid. So, the DNA content that is 2C, right? This is DNA content. You know that during the S phase, DNA replication occurs so that the DNA content, it gets double. So, during the S phase, DNA content that becomes double from 2C it is changed into 4C, but the number of chromosome that will remain same or you can say poloidy is same, that is 2N. So, you know after the S phase, G2 phase will occur. Then after the G2 phase, now the cell will enter division, that is meiosis. Now, meiosis will occur. In the meiosis 1, in the meiosis 1, the number of chromosomes that is reduced to half. So, what type of condition is there? Haploid. So, DNA content will be also reduced to half, that is 2C. Now, second part of the meiosis, meiosis 2. You know that the meiosis 2 is just like mitosis, yes. Here, the number of the chromosomes that will remain same, but the DNA content again will be reduced to half, right? So, meiosis is done and after the meiosis, the products which are formed that is 
gametes. So now we can see here in the somatic cell the number of the chromosomes they are double as compared to the gamete right but what about the DNA content we will look at the cell which is at the S phase if we look at the cell at the S phase the DNA content is four times more as compared to the gamete so very important point the chromosome number is double but the DNA content is how many times more it is not two times it is four times so now we can look for the right option twice the number of chromosome and four times amount of DNA so the right option is option number four so let's move on to question number 73 here 